Hey nail bosses, welcome back to my channel. So first and foremost, I just wanna say happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And of course, just wanna thank you guys for your continued support throughout this year or just however long you've been supporting me for. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. But today we're gonna to be doing a full set of acrylic nails. The first thing that I did was went ahead and pushed back the cuticles. That's going to expose the new growth and help with reducing lifting. Next, we're going in with my 180 sending bands. And as you guys can see, the first thing we do is go around the cuticle area from the right side going to the left side, following the left side of the nail, then the right side, and then following the entire nail. And when we're doing this step, we're just falling to remove the shine from the natural nail. We don't want to thin down the nail. We just literally want to remove the shine. So again, this is a 180 sending band and I'm using my e-file at 5,000 RPMs. And also just a reminder that when you're doing this step, you wanna make sure that you're using your e-file at a speed that you feel comfortable using it at. Just because I say I use it at 5,000 RPM does not mean that you have to use it at this speed. Just kind of mess with your e-file, especially if you're a beginner, just kind of mess with the speeds and just adjust it to whatever you feel comfortable using it at. That is definitely really important. Also, if you do not have an e-file, you can most definitely just use a hand file. Just make sure that it's also a 180 grit um, file. And next we're gonna go in and apply the nail tips. Of course, dust the nails off before you apply the nail tips. But I'm using my almond tips. I'm using the KDS glue to apply them. And of course, whenever you're applying the nail tips, you want the nail tip to fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall. You don't want them to be too small to where you have to force them down just for them to stick. And you also don't want them to be hanging off the nail. So make sure that they're on there perfectly. After that, we're gonna go in and just trim the tip of the nail. She wants like a very narrow coffin uh, shape. So that's why I applied the uh, almond nail tips. And after that, we just go in and just blend the nail tip right in the middle. This is going to help the acrylic just apply on a lot smoother and evenly. And of course, all of the products that I'm using are available on my website, which is Get Nail 32. And I am having a holiday sale right now. All you have to do is use the promo code holiday sale at checkout and you will get 20% off your entire purchase. Now for our acrylic, I'm going to be using my NC acrylic system. I'm using the color Real Nude, which is a beautiful nude acrylic powder. I'm using the NC monomer and my number 14 acrylic brush, which helps me apply my acrylic on like butter. Of course, before we apply the acrylic, we have to go in with the dehydrator and primer. This is also from my website. It's a part of my NC collection. And also I do have bundles that you can purchase. I have a bundle that it comes with the primer, dehydrator, two acrylic powders, and a monomer. And then I also have a really good nail kit for beginners that literally comes with everything that you need to start doing nails. And some like it literally comes with three acrylic powders, your monomer, your brush, dap and dish, nail art products, um, and a, a lot of other things. I believe it's about 35 items in total in the nail kit for beginner. And again, you can get that for 20% off right now. But now we're going in and applying the acrylic as always i use my four ball method so placing my first bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meet and very gently patting it down and then just brushing down towards the tip and just brushing to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and even and of course wiping off the sides to make sure that no acrylic gets over on the sides because if not it will take away from our shape and then also as you guys can see when i'm working i like to work with a little product at a time that way i'm able to control every single bead that i apply i don't want the acrylic to be running all over the place and especially if you're a beginner this is really important because if you go in with too much product you're not going to know how to quickly control your product and so it's going to dry up and most likely you will get lifting so definitely try this technique if you're a beginner and you're struggling with just controlling your product so again fourth ball method this is my fourth one right here this one goes closer to my cuticle area as you guys can see i very 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 
uh, or very gently push it up towards the cuticle area and then just blend it in with the rest of the nail and with me using this four ball method i'm automatically creating a nice structure for my nail so i'll have a good thickness at my tip and then i'll also get that nice apex that we need for the nails to not be super flat and then of course we know that if the nails are flat if you hit them on anything they're literally going to break off so this four ball method is the recipe for a good nail structure and then also if you are a beginner i do have um like a video for a liquid to powder ratio i do also sell liquid to powder ratio mats on my website that basically helps you pick up the perfect bead um for acrylic application and that's really the first step when doing acrylic nails is you want to make sure that you perfect your liquid to powder ratio that way your beads are not too runny or too dry um, because that definitely plays a huge role on whether your nails will actually stay on and of course just using the correct liquid to powder ratio will just make it a lot easier for you when you're working on either your nails or a client um, or whatever the case may be so definitely be sure to check it out I'll be sure to leave it here on the screen so you guys can refer that to, um, back to that video and get some practice in before you do a client um, or just a you know a good little refresher as well but again just going in and doing a four ball method and then also just a reminder y'all when you're working you want to make sure that you're wiping your brush your brush off a lot um you don't want the acrylic to get glumped up in your brush because then um as you're working you the acrylic is going to just start to like build up in your brush and it's going to be really hard to get that uh, like flawless application that you want because of your brush being dirty and then also just having a good brush is really important because if you have a bad like cheap brush that's not kalinsky hairs um the product is going to get stuck in your brush regardless of what you do so definitely make sure that even as a beginner that you invest into good quality products instead of just buying the cheapest thing that you can find because it will make a huge difference and i'm just saying that from experience y'all just go ahead and save up a little bit more money to get better quality items than to just get the cheapest thing that you can get because i'm telling you it's not going to give you good results and it probably will just make you feel like you probably shouldn't be doing else because that's what it did for me so definitely take that into consideration again i'm just saying that from experience i'm not just saying this for you to buy my products of course my products are good quality but whichever brand you decide to purchase just make sure that it's a good one um so you can have a way better experience than i did my very first time i did a set of nails um we're not gonna get too much into that but for this now as you guys can see my first bead was a little bit bigger so when i placed my second one i did place it closer to the cuticle area and it was a little bit bigger as well so um as always y'all whenever i'm telling you guys um about different like techniques and stuff um you know just a reminder that you don't have to just stick to a certain technique but just making sure that you do have something that you go by instead of just adding acrylic here or acrylic there and not really knowing like you know what what um like steps you're taking you want to make sure that you kind of have a guide that you go by instead of just adding randomly um but most importantly of course making sure that the acrylic is nice and smooth you have a nice thickness at the tip and a nice apex and that's why i keep looking at the nail from different angles to kind of see if i've achieved that um because we don't want the nails to break off so we're gonna go ahead and do this last pinky on the camera and then we're gonna fast forward to the following part but y'all look at how good this acrylic applies on as you guys can see it literally goes on like butter the color is beautiful this is my real nude acrylic powder which is beautiful on any skin tone um and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and finish this and then we'll move on to the next step.
Alrighty, so we're finishing up this last pinky and this is what the nails look like from the side after the acrylic application. So I haven't done anything to the nails at all other than just applied the acrylic and y'all they look so freaking good. Like there's literally not a bump or lump inside or in sight y'all can't talk today in sight and they look so good y'all so after this we're gonna go ahead and get our 100 100 um hand file and we're gonna be reshaping the nails and of course they're already like that coffin shape that we want but at the beginning i did not reshape the nail tip and so of course after you apply the acrylic it does take away from your shape a bit so we're just going in and redefining that shape by following both sides and the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle and y'all like I literally just alternate from side to side while I'm falling and I'm watching my shape as I'm falling as well so there's not necessarily a certain like number of times that I file um I know I had someone comment not too long ago saying that I file more on one side than the other and honestly y'all I don't even pay attention to how many times I'm falling. I'm just paying attention to the shape. If I feel like I need to file more on one side, I will, or the other, or the fridge. It doesn't matter, just as long as I have that shape that I want. And the only way I know is by actually like paying attention and looking at the shape as it's changing. Once I feel like, you know, I have a nice shape, then I move on to the next nail. So again, this is my, actually I said 100, 100, but this is my 80, 80 hand file. I do have these available on my website. Alrighty, so after we finish reshaping the nails, we're going in with our 5-in-1 drill bed. And we're just going to focus on falling around the cuticle area, kind of like how we did um, the falling at the beginning where we went around the cuticle area first. And then the sides, we're basically doing the same thing, but I'm just making sure that I focus on that cuticle area first. So as you guys can see, I'm going back and forth, back and forth, and then just following the rest of the nail. And basically what I'm trying to do is make sure that the acrylic is right, really nice and smooth right around this cuticle area. That way we don't get any like lifting. So no water or anything gets underneath the nail because if not, we will get lifting. And so basically just sealing the acrylic right Right around that cuticle uh, again so we don't get lifting and during this process i'm using my e-file at about 8,000 rpms i'm using my mccart flawless pro e-file i will be sure to leave the link down below and that one i feel like it's a lot faster than some of the if other e-files that i've used and so with this one i do feel like i have to slow it down a lot from like other e-files that i've had before but again just use it at whatever speed you feel comfortable using your e-file at um, just again making sure that you seal that cuticle area and that the nail is nice and smooth and you have no bumps or lumps and then also this step you can do with just a regular hand file um, just make sure that it's about a 180 grit that way you're able to file away any bumps or lumps if you do have any
so up next we're going to go in with the buffer and this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file so you want to make sure that you buff those nails really really good that way we aren't able to see any single little scratch once we apply the polish and that way everything goes on really nice and flawless so we're going to go ahead and do this on all of them after that we're going to just dust the nails off and then have my client go wash her hands Alrighty y'all, so we finished all of the steps to the acrylic application. My client washed her hands and so she is ready for polish application. But I'm really going to keep this set really, really simple. Yeah, this is actually my sister's nails and it, this was for her college graduation. And so I wanted to do something really just neutral. So I'm going to go in with a French tip with this light brown color. I'm going to be doing a marble nail and then also just a darker like chocolate brown um, french tip on the thumb i know you guys are probably like tired of french tips but it literally seems like every single person like that's what they want like everybody is in like their soft girl era i don't know what it is y'all but not too many people are getting like the extra extra nails and so you know it can be a little bit bittersweet but um this is kind of about the only thing that we've been able to do as nail techs here lately but again just doing the brown french tip on the thumb filling that in and y'all this is literally like my perfect or not perfect but favorite um brown color is in the color or the shade walnut by dnd &D. i gotta make sure that i keep about three bottles in stock because it's perfect so after that we're just gonna go in and do my nc gel top coat on all of the nails and we're gonna cure and i really wanted to show a lot of that um of this real nude acrylic powder because it's just so pretty so neutral and it just goes with everything so after we finish doing the top coat on all of the nails we're going to cure for 60 seconds under my mccart flawless pro um not a file but lamp and here is the final look as you guys can see they turned out really really pretty again very simple but they're definitely giving i'm graduating with my master's degree definitely super pretty and i kind of want this color on my nails next but as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time